right, I forgot, I'm playing Pokemon Blue. What's up, guys? It is me, Jake, the Happy Snake here, and welcome back to my Pokemon Blue walkthrough. In the last part, I went to the game corner, and then I went into the Team Rocket hideout, and I defeated a bunch of, of Team Rocket people. Then I defeated their leader, which was Giovanni. Then, um, he gave me the Sylph Scope, and in this part, I'm going to go back to the Lavender Town, and I'm going to use that Sylph Scope. And yeah, we'll just we'll just continue on from there. So, um, yeah, as you guys can see, my War Turtle is one level away from evolution, so I'm going to evolve War Turtle in this part, which is so exciting, very exciting. Um, this is my this is actually my second attempt at making this video. Um, I actually had I actually started, um like recorded uh, um I, I recorded this part already, but turns out that. I, I, you you could hear me talking. You could only hear like the music and everything from the game. I had my uh, I had the settings on Hypercam 2 um, set to stereo mix, so you couldn't hear me talking, which really sucks. So I have to start again, which which really sucks. But anyways, so just in case just in case you guys didn't know, this right here leads to Saffron City. You can now go through. If you talk to that guy right there, uh, I, I, if you guys remember a few parts a couple parts ago, I went to the Celadon Mart. And I got myself a lemonade, and now since you have that, you can talk to that guy. But um, I'm not gonna go to Saffron yet because I'm not really ready for Saffron City because that's where the sixth gym is located, and I only have four badges, so I'm not gonna go to Saffron City for a while. So, anyways, let's just move along. Okay, anyways, that was terrible. Anywho, okay, now um, this might take a while. Um, yeah, we're on the route back to Lavender Town. Um, also, while I'm walking there, I'm going to tell you guys something. I'm just, I've decided to upload more than one part a day of my Pokemon Blue walkthrough. I'm going to upload two parts a day, um, because it's going very slow, and I have lots of ideas for future walkthroughs that I would like to do. So I decided to, I decided to upload more than one part a day, just to make things go a little bit faster. Anyway, so we are here in Lavender Town, and here is the Pokemon Tower right here. And, yeah. So, now, um, I'm gonna use a Repel. Uh, where, where is my Repel? Also, in this part, once I'm done, I'm gonna get rid of the Lift Key and the Silph Scope, because that gives, that takes up way, way, way too much room. Like, way too much room. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna deposit those in the in the PC. Um, in case you guys don't know how to deposit items in the PC, I will show you guys how to do that later on in the video. So anyways, um, yep, I battled all these old women, just to get it over with. Um, but yeah. Alright, I believe... Right here. And then... I believe this is the last. No, no, this is no, this is the last. What am I saying? Also, if you guys should forget, my repels effect were off. If you guys forgot, this is where you heal up your Pokemon. You can step on there, and your Pokemon get healed up. So that was. It was oh crap! Cubone. All right. It's kind of a waste um to uh, go to the Pokemon Center on, on my part, but I did it anyways. So <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, now I believe this is the yeah this is the last four. Actually, the second last four. Now, this is what you guys have probably been having trouble with, because I know a lot of people have been having. Tr I know a lot of people have had trouble with this part, and I'm one of those people, of course. Um, you come right here, be gone, intruders, and it's a wild Pokemon. However, it is not exactly a Pokemon; it's a ghost. Um, the Silscope revealed its identity. It is a Marowak. Now, uh, I would catch this thing, but one, like this thing's a level 30, so it's pretty good. Pretty high level, um, but one I ha like I kind of have I, I kind of have an idea what my last team member is gonna be, and I kind of want to have him on my team. And two, once I evolve Nidorino, I'll have two ground types. So if I catch this one, I'll have three ground types, and that's just way too many ground types um, to have on my team. So yeah. Anyways, I want to show you guys something. If you guys try to run, try to run. Uh, he actually is still there, so you have to kill this thing. You can't just keep running away from it. Uh, you can't just you can't just keep running away from it. You have to kill it. So this will be easy because War Turtle is like 700 experience points away from leveling up. Um, okay, uh, 531. So now 
Um, yeah, rest the soul of Cubone's mother. That's kind of weird, but anyways, yeah. So now War Turtle is actually um, War Turtle is 100, 193 experience points. So the next battle will evolve my War Turtle into a Blastoise. So it's very exciting, very exciting. Anyways, so yeah, there's some Team Rocket grunts. So let's go ahead and fight them. What do you want? Why are you here? I can tell you why I'm here because I want to beat this game. That's why. Anyways, Bubble Beam and Bite. Wait, Bite. Come on, there we go. Alright guys, level 36, alright, and this is going to evolve my war turtle, very exciting. Zubat, um, yeah, I'll say in. Alright, down, and Golbat, down, now you're down, goodbye, here it is guys, what, war turtle is evolving, yeah, so excited! This is the, this is my first Pokemon that is fully evolved, actually no, no, Golbat is fully evolved, but, anyways, War Turtle evolved into Blastoise. Blastoise is my favorite um, Kanto starter. Well, Squirtle is my favorite Kanto starter, or else I would not have chosen him. But, um, yeah, Blastoise is awesome. I'm not going to forget this. And then he leaves. Yeah, there's three Team Rocket grunts, including that guy. And they all leave once you beat them, so. Anyways, um, my Pokemon, like, Blastoise is over leveled. Like, seriously, like, look, he's level 36, and the rest of my Pokemon are, like, level 32. 33, stuff like that, and I meant to put Jake Jr. in the PC, but I never actually did that, so I will do that later, but anyways, I'm going to put Nidorino in the front of my party, just because he needs to get up a level or two, so. Also, I, I now, I was, I said once I found a Moonstone, uh, once I found a Moonstone, um, in Mount Moon, uh, quite a while ago, like part 7 or something, I said that I was actually going to, um, I said I was going to evolve Nidorino once I evolved um, my war turtle into a Blastoise, and I've now evolved him into a Blastoise, so I actually, what? You disabled me? What? Anyways, so now since I've evolved my war turtle into a Blastoise, I can actually, have, now, I could, could evolve my Nidorino, but I don't really want to do that, I'm going to wait a little while, just because, I don't, I don't want to evolve two Pokemon, um, I don't want to evolve, I don't want to evolve two Pokemon in the same part, so. Anyways, one more trainer, as this guy, so let's just go ahead and battle him, beat him, Thunderbolt, goodbye. Rattata, I don't have no clue, I have no clue why you have a Rattata. Raticate is a little more challenging, body slayer, goodbye bro, and a Zubat. And, down goes Zubat, and there, just like that, um, all Team Rocket guys are gone, now this guy is hilarious, this guy's name is hilarious. Mr. Fuji, this guy is, oh man, that name is funny. But I came here um, on my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has gone to the afterlife. That's kind of weird. But, anyways. Um, so yeah, now we're back in Lavender Town. Nidorino, sweet. I, I, got, I got myself a Nidorino. Haha. <laughs> anyways, check out this guy. Mr. Fuji had, had been praying along with Cubone's mother. Okay, seriously, that's kind of mocking Christianity. Like... Why, why would they do that in a in a Pokemon game? A game for like ten year olds. They were mock Christianity. Like what the heck? Anyways, it's so warm. Pokemon are so nice to hug. What's this thing? Oh, it's a Psyduck. Okay. Okay. I, I, okay. Please. Thank you. All right. Now, um, hold it. Right. Um, this guy give this guy gives you something. However, um, I need to make room for it. So I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm gonna go to the Pokemart. Um, gonna go to the Pokemon for a second. Sell a couple of my items. I'm gonna sell my uh, Horn Drill TM. Um, I'm gonna sell, sell my Horn Drill TM. Plus, I'm gonna sell. Uh, no, I don't want to buy. I want to sell. Hold on. No. Come on, man. No. This is confusing. Okay, hold on. Sell. There we go. Okay, Nugget. Where's my Nugget? Nugget. Um, I have two Nuggets that I like to sell. There we go. Uh, you can sell a Nugget for five thousand bucks each. So I have two of them. So I sold them for. Uh, for 10,000, so that's cool. And I have Horn Drill that I want to get rid of. There we go. Alright, so, um, now I have four, 46,000 bucks, so that's pretty cool. And, I'm gonna go make some more room in my, um, in my bag, and I'm gonna go deposit the lift key and the, uh, silk scope. Because you don't need, a, you don't, you don't need those for the rest of the game, so. Um, no, wait, I gotta go, yeah, okay. Um, Deposit item, deposit, um, the lift key, and the silph scope, because you don't need those for the rest of the game. 
There we go. Uh, nothing. Okay, goodbye, bro. Goodbye. Alright. And I'm gonna go heal while I'm at this. There we go. Also, I'm gonna go actually, I forgot. There's something that I've been wanting to do. I gotta deposit, um, uh, my, um, I wanted, I wanted to deposit Jake Jr. Because Jake Jr., I don't think I'm gonna need, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna need cut for a while. I might need cut, I, I, I don't know, but, anyways. Uh, so yeah, we'll go back inside Mr. Fuji's house. Right here. Oh look, it's the atheist! Anyways. Mr. Fuji. GG this. Your Pokedex quest may fail. Ah, oh, I get it. You've already, you've said all this crap before. Pokeflu. Okay. Now what this does, if you guys remember, on route, whatever it was, the route beside, uh, the route beside, the, the route next to Vermilion City, um, there was, um, on the route next to Vermilion City, there was a sleeping Snorlax. Now you can get rid of that Snorlax. You can battle that Snorlax now by using the Poker Flute, which, which, which is what we just got. So I will use that Poker Flute in the next part. So that's it. That's all I have for now, guys. I appreciate it. Please write, comment, subscribe. God bless you, everybody, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.